Bless Master. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God and our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless is the Lord of my soul, O Lord, my God. Thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confessions and majesty hast thou put on. Who overcome, overcast thyself with light as with a garment. Who stretched out the heaven as it were a curtain. Who supported his chambers in the water. Who appointed the cloud for his ascent. Who walked upon the wings of the winds and who maketh his as an angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who established the earth in the assurance thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment in his mantle. Upon the mountain shall be the water stand. At the rebuke they will flee, at the voice of thy thunder shall they be afraid. The mountain rise up and the plain sink down, unto the place where thou established them, Thou appointed upon upon that they shall not pass, neither return to the cover of the air. He sent it forth spring in the valleys, between the mountains will the wind water run. They shall give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses will will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the will the birds of the heaven lodge. From the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He waters the mountains from the chest jumper. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle, and the green herb for the service of men, to bring forth bread out of earth, and wine, wine maketh glad the heart of man, to make his face cheerful with oil, and the bread strengthening man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied, the cedar of Lebanon's wood, which thou hast planted, there will be spar the sparrow make their nest. The house of the heron is cheap among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock of the hills. He had made the moon for four seasons. The sun knows his going down. Thou appointed the darkness, and there was a night, wherein all the beasts of the forest will go up road. Young lions roaring after their prey, and seeking their food from God. The sun arise, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. Man shall go forth unto his work, and to his labor unto the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, in wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this the great and spacious sea, wherein all things creeping in innumerable small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there are the Sylvetian, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away the, thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send for thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works, who looketh on the earth and make it tremble, who touches the mountains as they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my word be sweet unto him. I will rejoice in the Lord, O oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that were iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord of my O oh, my soul. The sun knoweth his going down. Thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night. How magnified are thy works, O oh, Lord in wisdom, as thou make them all. to ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. 
Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the good state of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for the honor of Presbytery, the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy for Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, and their quick release from captivity and safe return. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. O oh, our country, its president, civil authorities, and armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and every city and land, and the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the travelers by sea, by land, and by air, the sick and the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theosophie and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and our life unto Christ our God. O thee, o Lord, for unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, I have cried out on to Thee. And the lived 
lifting up all my hands as the evening sacrifice. Hear the Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth, and a protecting door round about my lips. Incline not my heart to evil words, to make excuses in sin. With men that work iniquity, and I will not communicate with the choicest of them. The just man shall correct me in mercy, and shall reprove me. But let not the oil of the sinner anoint my head. For my prayer also shall still be against the things with which they are well pleased. Their judges falling upon the rock have been swallowed up. They shall hear my words, for they are sweet. As when the thickness of the earth is broken upon the ground, their bones are scattered by the sight of hell. But to thee, O Lord, Lord, are mine eyes. In thee have I put my trust, take not away my soul. Keep me from the snare which they have laid for me, and the traps of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I alone escape. I poured out my supplication before him. I showed before him my trouble. I will pour out before him my supplication. Mine affliction will before him, will I declare. When my, with my, when my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they secretly laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no man that would know me. Refuge failed me, no one cared for my soul. I cried out unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison that I may praise thy name. Come ye, let us worship him who was born of the Father before all time, the Word of God incarnate of the Virgin Mary. For he did submit to crucifixion by his own choice, was delivered to burial as he himself willed, rose from the dead and saved me who was lost. The righteous shall wait for me until thou recompense me. Verily Christ our Savior nailed to his cross the handwriting of the decree and did expunge it, and he abolished the might of death. Let us therefore adore his third day resurrection. Out of the depths have I cried to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Come, let us with the archangels praise the resurrection of Christ, for he is the Redeemer and Savior of our souls, and he it is who will come with fear, magnificence, and glorious might to judge the world which he hath created. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. O thou who was crucified and was buried, an angel did proclaim thee, that thou art the master, saying to the women, Come ye and behold where the Lord was lain, for he is risen as he said, for he is the Almighty One, and therefore do we worship thee, O thou who alone art deathless. O Christ, giver of life, have mercy upon us. If thou, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness. With thy cross thou didst abolish the curse of the tree. 
with thy death and burial, thou didst cause the might of death to die, and with thy resurrection, thou didst enlighten mankind. Wherefore do we cry to thee, O Christ our God, the benefactor, glory to thee. Because of thy name have I waited for thee, O Lord, my soul has waited upon thy word. My soul hath hoped in the Lord. O Lord, verily the gates of death were opened to thee for fear of thee. And as the gatekeepers of Hades saw thee, they did tremble. For thou didst break asunder its brazen gates, didst crush its iron bars, didst bring us out from shadow and darkness of death, and didst break our bonds asunder. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel trust in the Lord. Come, let us all sing with our mouths a song of salvation. Let us kneel down in the house of the Lord, saying, O thou who was crucified on a tree, who didst rise from the dead, and who still remainest in the bosom of the Father, forgive us our sins. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption. And he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. With the Spirit clear shining radiance, thou didst glitter as a gemstone of the kingdom of our Christ, striving steadfastly, O athlete, with great fervor for the faith, and putting all the host of the godless foes to flight. O martyr, thou didst gain the victory over them. Wherefore we glorify thee with faith as an invincible warrior. Hyacinth, intercede with Christ to save our souls. Praise the Lord, all ye nations. Praise him, all ye people. O divine wise martyr, Hesasianth, being piloted by Christ, our God invincible right hand, thou didst pass through all the swelling waves of error and safe and sound to anchor in the spiritual and waveless port, deemed worthy of the glory passing not away, and there enjoying unending calm. Thou, a wise athlete, continuously art filled with joy. Intercede with Christ to save our souls. For his mercy is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. Thou in thine own members did glorify the immortal God when thou wast put to death on his accounts. Hence he maketh thee a sharer of his own immortal gifts while glorifying thee, O most wise Hyacinth, with signs and mighty wonders wrought at every hour. For now thy shrine is become for all a fountain brimming with holiness. Thou didst entreat Christ our Savior that our souls be saved. Let us 
day to the Lord, Lord have mercy. In the evening, in the morning, and at all noonday, we praise thee, we bless thee, we give thanks unto thee. We pray unto thee, O Master of all, Lord, who loves mankind, direct our prayers and sense before thee, and incline not our hearts unto words or thoughts of evil, but deliver us from all who seek after our souls. For unto thee, O Lord, Lord, are our eyes, and in thee have we hoped. Put us not <clears throat> to shame, O our God, for unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. This master of the holy, the holy place, always now place, always now This master of the holy place, place is our God, always now and ever, and unto the ages Amen. O Virgin, verily, the shadow of the Lord hath been a known by the calming of thy grace. For as the bush was burning, but not consumed, so didst thou give birth while yet a virgin. And instead of the pillar of fire, the Son of Justice shone forth, and instead of Moses, Christ the Savior of our souls. Sophia. light of the holy glory of the immortal heavenly holy and blessed Father O Jesus Christ lo now that we have come to the setting of the sun as we behold the light of evening, we hear thee, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God. Meet it is for thee at all times to be magnified by joyous voices. O Son of God, and giver of life, wherefore the whole world doth glorify Thee. The evening broke him in all. The Lord is King and hath clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is King and hath clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is robed, he is girded with strength. The Lord is King and hath clothed himself with majesty. For he hath established the world so that it should never be moved. The Lord is King, and hath clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is King, and hath clothed himself with majesty. Let us say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us sing. Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. 
Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Ya Rabbul Ham, Ya Rabbul Ham, Ya Rabbul Ham. Again we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again we pray for our brethren, the priests, high monks, deacons, high deacons, and monastics. And all of our brotherhood in Christ. Senor, ten piedad, Senor, ten piedad, Senor, ten piedad. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of sins for the servant of all Orthodox Christians of true worship who live and dwell in this community. Gospody pumiloi, Gospody pumiloi, Gospody pumiloi. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church and of all of our fathers, the band brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and on all the world lie asleep. In the Lord. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and venerable temple, those who serve and those who sing, and all the people here present. Who await thy grand great mercy? Domne miluiește, Domne miluiește, Domne miluiește. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever, O despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongeth worship, to thee belongeth praise. To thee belongeth glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a garden for our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask. Of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and the Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy Spirit. Let 
Let us bow our head unto the Lord. O Lord. O Lord our God, who didst bow the heavens and come down for the salvation of mankind, look upon thy servants and thine inheritance. For unto thee, the fearful judge, who yet lovest mankind, have thy servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, and from vain thoughts and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thy resurrection, O Christ, Savior, hath illumined the whole universe. Thou hath renewed thy creation, O Lord, almighty glory to thee. The Lord is king and hath clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is robed, he is girded with strength. By the tree, O Savior, thou hast removed the curse that was the cause by the by a tree, and by thy burial thou hast caused the might of death to die. Thou hast illumined our race by thy resurrection. Wherefore do we shout to thee, O Christ our Lord, giver of light, glory to thee. For he hath established the world so that it shall never be moved. O Christ, when thou wast seen nailed upon the cross, thou didst invert the beauty of creation. Yet with all did the soldiers show brutality when they pierced thy side with the spear. And the Hebrews comprehended not the might of thine authority seeking to seal the tomb. But thou who for the compassion of thy mercies did accept the tomb, did rise in three days, O Lord, glory to thee. Holiness befits thy house, O Lord, forevermore. O Christ, God, O giver of life, thou didst bear thy that bear the passion willingly for the sake of the dead. Thou didst descend into Hades, for thou art mighty, and didst snatch away from the hand of the proud one those who there awaited thy coming, bestowing paradise upon them for an abode instead of Hades. Wherefore we supplicate thee, to give us who glorify thy third day resurrection, forgiveness of sins, and the great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit both now and ever and unto ages. Amen. O wondrous event transcending all the ancient miracles, for whoever hath heard of a mother giving birth without a man, and carrying it in her arms, him who containeth all creation. Yet this is the will of the born God. Cease not therefore, O one defiled one, to pray to him whom thou didst carry in thine arms as a babe and with whom thou didst acquire motherly privilege for us who honor thee, that he may have mercy upon us and save our souls. Lord, 
Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, defend us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we will those who trespass against us, and lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. When thou didst submit thyself unto death, O thou deathless and immortal one, then thou didst destroy hell with thy godly power. And when thou didst raise the dead from beneath the earth, all the powers of heaven did cry aloud unto thee, O Christ, thou giver of life, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Exceeding glory, as beyond the power of thought, are thy mysteries of Theotokos, for being sealed in purity, and preserved in virginity. Thou was acknowledged to be in very truth the mother who didst bring forth the true God. Wherefore entreat him to save our soul. Oh, wisdom, Father, please. Christ our God, the existing one, is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and all Orthodox Christians unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Theotokos, save us. All honorable than the seraphim, and more glorious be than compared than the seraphim. Thou, without corruption, despair, God, the word. And art truly the Eutokos, we magnify thee. Glory to thee, O Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all-audible apostles of our holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of Saint Nicholas the Wonder-Worker, Archbishop of Mir, and Lycia, the patron protector of this holy community, of the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the martyr Hyacinth and his companions of Caesarea in Cappadocia, Anatolios, Patriarch of Constantinople, Venerable Martyr Gerasimos of New, the New of Carpenician, and Venerable Nicodemus of Koze Lake, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints have mercy on us and save us, 
for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us.